All right, Fantasy Island is back with a new season. It airs Monday nights on Fox, and our friend Amanda Salas went to Puerto Rico to get the scoop from the cast. Check it out. Welcome to Fantasy Island. The island is free to show our guests possibilities. You ready? Let's do this. Dip the toe in the water. Have a little fun. Uh all right, Dish Nation on the scene by the sea here in Puerto Rico with you two hotties. Aww. You are probably a lot of people's fantasy. Aww. Or, You're too sweet. For sure. <laughs> so getting right into it, you recently, Mr. Javier, a.k.a. John Gabriel, you recently posted a shirtless selfie. Oh. A mirror selfie. Yeah, we, we peeped the Instagram. Ooh. We saw it. And you were oh, like, man. dad bods unite. Where, where's the... <laughs> don't they ask dad bods? Oh, man. <laughs> where's the... Dad bod, and they call that on, on Dish Nation a thirst trap. A you? thirst okay. trap, okay. Dad bods unite. Oh, I'm, I'm, Are you I'm, I'm embarrassed. You think, so what was that? Just, just let us know. Like, was that for yourself? Was that for somebody else? Just totally just for me. Yeah. Hey. Totally just for that me. Yeah. Since the show is called Fantasy Island, have you ever helped make someone's fantasy come true? Whether it's taking them on their dream vacation or buying them a gift that just made their fantasy real. I don't know if I have made anybody's fantasy come true. How about bringing know. your husband down to your island to work together? I think that's a fantasy. Yeah, that was a fantasy. Yeah. Being married to me is a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate fantasy. The ultimate fantasy. Yes. <laughs> You had the bold and beautiful background. Yes. The soaps. So did it help you bring that soapy drama to Fantasy Island? You know, I don't know. This this is definitely a little more grounded. <laughs> I would say the soap world you could be definitely, like, yeah. yeah, soap world could be um, you know, you could have multiple deaths in a soap world and be yeah. revived. Well, but then Fantasy Island. Oh. Yeah, actually I don't know. Um no, I will say the the thing that I've brought is be able to memorize lines super quick. Yes. Any changes, any rewrites, and ready to go. I'm jealous to, of that. Yeah. Skill. She's very, very good. That was at good that. training ground to be able to handle a lot of information because we were like average, like three to four episodes a day, like filming. Yeah. From Bold and the Beautiful to Boricua and the Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. 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 In Puerto Rico. I love that. <laughs> okay, my last question for you is you, you know what it's like growing up here in Puerto Rico. If somebody was going to survive on an island for a month, they have okay. to pack a bag of stuff. What do they have to pack to survive? Um, in the jungle. In the jungle, mosquito yeah. repellent. Yes. Bring a flashlight, mm -hmm. bring some snacks, and a good book. And a good, oh, who are you reading now? Oh my God. No, what am I reading? I don't know. I don't have to. Have, you know what? I'm reading scripts from Fantasy Island. That's what I'm reading uh, every single day. So you got the book, you're on the beach, and what kind of booze are you drinking? Pina colada? Uh, me, pina colada, virgin, because I don't drink. <gasps> virgin pina colada. A mocktail. <laughs> hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.